I hereby sentence you to death. What's going on? How you guys doing? I have amazing news for you. TFS Migration Group. I'm going to show you all what happened, what we have now, and what you can expect, which I am really hyped about this, by the way. Like, you know, they, Jason and the team, whoever put this together, did so amazing. Because you have to understand, Jason and Saad had drama. They formed Echo, a huge, basically 60 people left. We're back to nearly full power. When I say nearly full power, I should say like, basically we have 200 members. We went down, I think by 500 to a bill power, I believe. But this kingdom is stacked. First off, props to Jason and them. But holy shit, when I show you, we have 200 plus T5 players in this kingdom another thing is that i want to show is obviously alliance power now keep in mind this is not full power for ancients or um the fg alliance which they're also new to this which props to them thank you for joining us it's awesome here's their leader and everything both these alliances are not even close to full power this alliance is missing 43 slots as you can imagine i would say on average player they're getting is for this alliance, 40 mil. So imagine 40 mil times 43. That's a lot of power. And then for agents, we're missing even more. We're ne missing nearly half an alliance, yet we're at 7.5 bill power. That's amazing. So to me, it's like what I am, the vision I see is agents being a nearly 12 bill power alliance. Keep in mind a 16 build power alliance a 12 build power alliance and potentially a 10 build power alliance all in one server is insane that would put us at nearly 35 to 36 build power which i think is jaw dropping it would be by far one of the biggest kvks no matter what fighting tfs because you're fighting three solid alliances now the problem is that i personally see is well i should say a lot of people see is there's probably not enough room to fill those people in right you would be wrong actually tfs or server 23 currently has and this will blow your mind like it blew my mind when i first saw this 135 slots available still do you know how insane that is now keep in mind, Ancients is only halfway full and we need 100 players for that. So we have 35 extra slots for the other alliance to fill. Now granted that wouldn't fully fill it anyways, but it would still get it up there pretty solid. It'd be like, I think 180 or 170. And the amount of power that we can obviously just invite in is insane because we're only orange right now. We're not even close to red. Hold on, let me um, pop these real quick. I'm almost D5, by the way. We are doing a research rune and buff everything. I'm pushing T5 at that point. Obviously doing archers, even though they nerfed them. Rest in peace, um, long range warfare. You will be missed. But getting back on track, basically server 23 has a lot of room to invite more players. And obviously Jason is doing that. Like as we even go over here and check, we have waiting. You know what I'm saying? three already two players that are 80 mil both plus wanting to come over that's insane so to me it's like we are continuously going to grow especially at this rate significantly because that's already two highly powered players you know what i'm saying it's like if we could keep that up tfs can be a scary alliance again like it was way back then and i believe it still kind of is it's just like it's not very really shown anymore you know what i'm saying it was shown by the power at first, but now it's going to be shown by more of the numbers, I believe, which in my opinion is also amazing. Numbers will always be better than just raw power. So I feel like we are going in this kind of transition of instead of being the highest power alliance, we're going to be the alliance with the most numbers on the field while still being a high power alliance. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I can I can personally live with that. That's something that does not bother me whatsoever i would rather win a lot more wars 
then have this huge number above my head and kind of be a target, which tends to happen a lot. It's happened to Nor now. It happened to us. People will go out their way to win your season is what I would say. And to be honest, I think this whole new home king system is going to help a lot with that sabotaging or teaming up. Now, I could be completely wrong and KVK is going to be horrendous now, even more than they were before. But I do feel like a lot, what was tending to happen a lot was kingdom started teaming up against a stronger kingdom and allowing basically kingdoms that probably shouldn't have won to win, which I understand. It's like everyone wants to win. Everyone wants dragon. I get it. But at some point, it does kind of get boring when the odds are so stacked above you that even at your A game, you'll never win because you just got teamed on completely. And so hopefully what I'm hoping happens is this kind of home kingdom stuff changes that for the better to where it's more of it's a 1v1v1v1v1 1v1 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 instead of a this team versus this team. You know what I'm saying? Because personally, I hate that. The two, the one, the one v ones. I want it to be free for all. It's more exciting that way. It's better content. Of course, it's better content. I'm a content creator. Come on now, but it's like kind of knowing who wins is a lot harder. It's not a 50 50 anymore. It could be a 25 25 for everyone. It could be slightly above for this alliance. It's just something I think that would make this game interesting again. And I feel like they're going in the right direction with home kingdoms. I love how they're doing buffs and all that. They're allowing new players to boost up even more, which is amazing. Granted, we're also being able to boost up too, but once you hit a certain power, it's like it doesn't really matter anymore, you know what I'm saying? Granted, I am far from that, but I just, yeah, I'm kind of going on a rant on just how happy I am for Home Kingdoms because, you know what I'm saying, it's usually bad. But yeah, I think that's really it for this video. I just kind of want to show you guys like the, the current situation with TFS when it comes to Alliance power, who's in our migration, who we have, and how powerful we're gonna be. It's looking like we're gonna be 35 build power, but I could always be wrong. That could, we could just be max now and we only be 30 bill, which I'm totally fine with also, but you know, worst case scenario, we make AFK merge with um, the other line. So yeah, if you did enjoy this video, leave a comment. What are your thoughts about this merge? Was it a good merge? Was it a bad merge? What could have been better? Do you think Honestly, TFS will be the number one alliance again with this merge, or do you think other alliances did better? Let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's it for the video. If it was good, leave a like, subscribe, and share it. With that being said, peace out. Yeah.